Good afternoon. We have a quorum. It's four o'clock. We'll call the uh, DPW feasibility meeting to order. And first up is a few minutes of uh, 913. We have and none, thank you. We have none. That's mostly my fault because I didn't get that's all right. Randy missed the first few minutes and I took the minutes of the first meeting of the first few minutes till he showed up and I forgot to give them to him until today. So he didn't get a chance to put them together. Anyways, okay. Um, next one is to review updates and various items for our 1014 Saturday open house. Um, Alex isn't here, so we can't really get much on a web website update. I know he put some uh, things on the website. He put He's made a poster um, and a few other things. I'm assuming they're on the website, but I haven't visited to have the website. Um, JP's not here for update on any brochures or anything. He did email. He's sick. He did? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, I see that he did give you... That's from Mike. Oh, that's from Mike. Okay, Mike yeah. Richard, about the uh, feasibility design. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, JP fact sheet, I have that for him. But, uh, again, he's not here, so I have to, I'll have to make a scan and get a copy to him. Brochure distribution. I know you, yes? I, the first Wednesday I received him, I did go to the dump that day, that afternoon. And, okay. Um, and quite and told them all about the... No, next Saturday, and I think only one refused it. Everybody the, was pretty good about it, but I just did it that one Wednesday. There's a poster in the stack from here, there's a poster in the stack at the library, and there's, um, no, there's a stack of them at the library, there's a poster in the stack at the uh, town hall. Oh, good, okay. Are we going to um, do the dump this Saturday morning? Um, I'm, well, willing to, I'm willing to throw up some time at it. And so the, we have a, have a well, sign. It so. starts at 10. I mean, I've, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go there to the dump and hand stuff out I'd be willing to do it as well I told them all the date now because it wasn't on the flyer but I did tell them all and two actually wrote it down so okay how are we doing on a plan for the open house everything everything's a go yeah just uh I've been in cut well we met last week uh myself Carolyn and uh, uh Lauren. Lauren from the police department uh, and we finalized all the plans and we're ready to go. Good. Good. Lauren and Scott have done a fabulous job getting sponsors. I, I don't, it's literally paid for. Are you set with the same Is it? I know they never reached out. She asked your number, so I gave it to yeah. her. I'll remind her she's I supposed to be getting you. And Susan Bellazzi's involved because she's sort of safe, so she'll be there and she's got the approval from the health department. Um, so she'll be there. She, she might, I have to touch base with her and Lauren just to make sure there's enough people helping to foot hamburgers and hot dogs. Yeah, I know there's a few few of our guys come in. I mean, I'll that's be there. That's probably plenty. Yeah. I think Gary and Jamie yep. and yep, that's so. so it's good. Yeah, and you know, we've got uh, pumpkins. What else? Yeah. Is there a hay, get some hay if there's going to be some Yeah, there's going to be a little decoration. Some thing, decoration. Yeah. Okay. So good. Hope, nice. hope that it's a, not the na nasty day that the weather's supposed to be. It's going to be 40% right now. Good. We can not till end of the day. Okay. We did get a call at our office from a, a parent asking if the kids are going to be able to like climb on the equipment and honk the air horn and things of that <laughs> nature. So, I, I said I wouldn't see why not. So it's kind of what it, it's about. So It'd be noisy. A we bit, did, but that's yeah, we did yeah. get a that's call awesome. on that. So kids, yeah. kids love. Like I told we get Scott so early today. He says kids love air horns. Oh, we didn't get signs though. So no parents. Lauren was yeah. working on that and the banner. I haven't touched base with her on that. She she was supposed to get okay. them. Yeah, uh, she up. did send out a proof. Can we get a DPW sign that says um, that is open house? Touch the we don't have a sign. Can we meet them? You want the, the, blood, for, um, the letter sign? Yeah. The speed limit sign? Ooh, that'd be cool. Can we do that? Yeah, Mitch, you know, I'll see where they got them set up, but again, Mitch, see if Mitch can bring one. What are these? Yeah, on Kazera Avenue. You know the police signs? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, 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 right I'll ask them. Wow. Will you remember to ask them? I'll do it right now. <laughs> yeah, the, what is it? Um, the website does have a picture, I, I believe, of the poster. Yeah. Is this under upcoming events, DPW Open House, Saturday, October 14th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it has a, the... I believe that's the poster. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. The, yeah. Do we have? Yeah, and we have the brochures too, so we can hand those out. Right. Okay. 
where where do we have a, s a supply of brochures if down the highway garage okay so there's a whole box on there okay do you want you need some for well go to the dump on saturday yeah stop down sorry have somebody stop down okay give you a stack. all right you heading down there after this hmm? you heading down there after this i can follow you down if you want okay they close at four, don't they? Are they open at six? They're open 24 7. 24 7. <laughs> they had a key. Uh, okay, a little update on our town meeting. Originally, we were going to ask for $3 million to do a full design and hire an OPM. The Finance Committee, I believe, and the Capital Planning Committee had some concerns about asking for $3 million. What if we get the money approved? What if we don't get the full amount approved afterwards? Is the, is the design going to go bad? How accurate is the estimate going to be? And a bunch of other stuff. So Carolyn worked with Mike Richard of uh, Wesson, and they have come up with an alternative that we're going to go forward with. Instead of asking for $3 million, we're going to do a schematic design. We're going to ask for $225,000, which will get us a schematic design and hire a OPM to help us through that. That will not require an override. That'll just become out of essentially, Linda called it the, within the borrowing levy. Within the borrowing levy. So it'll just be a, a, a straight approval by the town meeting we'll go out and advertise for an architect and an OPM? No OPM. Well, OPM was I'm sorry. Yeah. There will be, it'll just be a small, much smaller portion. I'm sorry, right, thank you. Right. Lots it, of conversations. We, we, still, we still need the OPM. Mm -hmm. And we'll get a schematic design. From the schematic design, we should be able to get a much more accurate estimate as opposed to the price we've got now. We're taking designs that St. Weston and Samson have put together and giving it an inflation number. This way they'll have a reasonable design. It won't be construction drawing, but it'll be a reasonable design that an estimator <clears throat> can look at and give us a much more accurate figure for a price. And then we'll go forward with that to town meeting, which would, I'm assuming, we'll have to see what it is. I mean, once you have that price, you could go, and depending where the state is, and a few other things, I don't think there'd be an intermediate design that would be right to a full design build. But I'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I don't know the next steps. Wait, I don't quite understand what you just said. The intermediate design? It's, it's a, they call it a schematic yeah. design. You need a full-blown design for construction documents. This will not give us construction documents, but it's going to give us a really good footprint design, what we need, what it's going to look like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and a lot of reasonable details not like where the outlets are going to be but it'll give you an outlet of well what kind of power do you need what kind of this what kind of that and then you can get a good estimate on what the building will cost from then i don't know if we would have to go to the step of getting the full-blown design and then go back to town meeting for a price i guess that's going to depend a lot on on where the state is on funding one of these things and a bunch of other stuff. So there, there's the, the next step is a bit unclear what would be. We could go one of two ways. You could get the design and then go back to town meeting for the full-blown money, or we could go for the full-blown money if the state has come across with money. Okay. But with the schematic design, it gives you a little bit more <coughs> flexibility and a better price. Is this schematic design something we own after it's done that yes, we can turn ours, over to whoever ours. we hire? We hire. Yeah. We own it. Well, I'm, good question. But from what I understand of state law, the way state law is written, the architect and anybody else is doing our work and whatever is created, they have a piece of it, no question. But the ownership belongs to the municipality. Okay. You know, like, um, let's say we hire Walt Sikowski Intermediate Design Company and we decide, well, we don't want to go with him for the final design. We want to go with Gary Berg Good Design decision. Company. You could take his design right. and yeah, go with it. I know okay. that could be an I, I, I run into that. It, it, well, we're paying for it. We're well, paying. Yeah, we're so paying. It's it's so we yeah. there's, <laughs> there's a lot of strange rules that apply to a corporation 
in the state of Massachusetts or other places that is a little bit different when it comes to municipalities. Well, it's it's also similar to the way my business operates. I I own all the work I do. My clients pay me for it. I can't just give it to anybody willy nilly without their permission. So it's probably something similar to right. that. We, that's right. We own it, so we the, we we couldn't take our design and give it to Amherst, for example. But we could take our design and do whatever we can with our design. We I mean I would expect that the architect we hire more than likely to do the schematic design would be the same architect that would do the final design. But because um, when he did that with this, when he did that with the school, of course things are different. Twenty five years later, we did a schematic design for the school, but we retained that architect for the final design because that was all if you read upon that was the way things worked back then. I would have to check on how if the laws have changed since then. Yeah, there was just concerns at the um, at the finance committee meeting that three million, first of all, might you know cause everybody to choke, particularly since the number of weight really wasn't dialed in. Right. And this 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 step is to get us a, as Jim was saying earlier, much more concrete, much more accurate number. Yeah. And also be far more palatable to get us to the next step, so we can get to that better number, like other projects before that have recently come that were kind of nebulous in what was the total cost. Well, they were rejected. Well, we want to be able to get a better idea of what that total cost is going to be. It also provides a lot more time for outreach, and I, that was my biggest concern. We didn't have enough time for outreach. Yeah. And I think the important thing to know, this, um, you, you, you guys actually did this with the school, like you mentioned, that you had schematic designs at prison. This, is, this will provide us a uh, very, very accurate number of what the cost of that building is going to be. It, it could be more, but it could also be less. Um, because all of this information that's gathered is given to estimators who provide that. It's, and it's specific to having needs. But this building is more looking at a comparison of the average of all of the DPWs that have gone up in the past couple of years. This is the size you need, so this is the number we're looking at. And this normally would have been, this would have been a part of that design if it went forward, a part of that $3 million. It's just, it's just taking it in a phased approach and hopefully, like Jim said, giving us more time as that municipal bill comes to to play and hopefully is passed, it puts it still it still helps us progress towards that. Plus, the bottom line had a fairly lengthy, uh, fairly big padding of uh, for um, yeah. unaccounted for changes and the like. Yeah, and like this a, this design would cut down. It was like what in the order of six million dollars. Right? Yeah, so there, was, would, there, was, there was there was there was there was there was basically two padding. One was the inflationary number for today's price, and then it was the inflationary number putting it out a few years. Then there was the inflationary number getting it today. So there was like, you know, to their credit, they were trying to give us a number that certainly we probably would not exceed and we probably would be a little bit under, but they wanted to make sure it was a realistic number that, you know, then we're not going to tell you it was going to cost $8 million, it comes in at $29 million. It's like, you know, wait a minute, these, these guys are useless. So they wanted to make sure that everybody was on safe with the number that was given to us. This will give us a number that, okay, we go to town meeting for whatever reason, whichever next phase will be, that we're going to have a good feeling that this is a reasonably accurate number that we can be living with. I think the town should know about those, you know, the incremental numbers for the cost of the time to take to reach some of those decisions. Yeah. I'm sure so, plenty of people will ask questions at town meeting. Yeah. You know, this 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 one because it's such because of where it is, it may not draw. It'll draw attention, but it may not be as much as we have the bigger number. I think the big number is going to be coming from is the uh, the fire truck that the fire department is looking for. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, with that said, I wish somebody was here to put us up. We put it on the board, but I present. I prepared a very scaled down um, PowerPoint presentation. I want to get your comments. What else we could include? What else we could include? And should we include anything? First sheet is just committee members, DPW, who's on it. Pretty simple. The second one is just a brief history of the town garage, and basically what it says: the original town garage was on Mail Railroad Street behind Most Holy Redeemer Church, built in about the 1940s, designed for small six-wheel dump trucks, pickups, and tractors. 
The current town garage on Middle Street was built in 71-72 to replace the railroad street site. It had storage, maintenance area for more, for more modern trucks, dump trucks, backed hauls, etc. In the mid-1970s, the town saw a huge expansion of the town services, extend the sewer line all the way to North Hadley, town water line to the Hockenham North-South Hadley town line. Also, a number of small subdivisions were approved. Small numbers add up, and it equals a lot more roads to maintain. The expansions required more town water, sewer, and highway services, hence more equipment, larger equipment, and more personnel. Result was the town garage did not have the space, current situation, town, current town garage does not have enough space to house all the equipment. Overhead doors are barely large enough for the large trucks. It has inches of clearance. This has resulted in numerous instances of minor door building and equipment damage. Current garage has temporary equipment, temporary trailers <coughs> for offices, and the office and the trailers are exterior to the actual garage. Here's where I need some some correction. Make sure we do this right with it with the stuff. There's no break room for anybody. Yeah. Very Trailer. small. Okay. So. The, no locker space, correct real locker space, no. breaker rooms, no, no. adequate wash up areas for employees. Mm -hmm. Marginal. Marginal. That's fine. Are these required <coughs> by law to have these things? Do you know? Wash station and things of that nature, yes. Uh, locker room, I think it's more like a courtesy to people for their belongings, but I think we do have to provide you got to change the changing space. Yeah, yeah, we have a yeah. changing space, and then like some of the stuff they're housing is uh, uh, town provided PPE, depending on what we're doing. So I would say that you know we are somewhat obligated to uh, give them an area to house their. Uh, Good. I, I don't want to say anything that's not true. I want yeah, to make sure. I, 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 I would be. I don't, I don't know, know if it's similar to what the fire department is. Uh, the fire department can't couldn't store their gear in the garage anymore. Right. So they had when we did the North Station, that was one of the things that came in late, and we had to build a room for it. Right now, all the lockers are in the garage area. Yeah, that, so there's, there's right. no place. So okay. it's not clean. What what what, what other major <coughs> things that you are, are, don't you have that you you sh or should or should have? I know the new garage is going to have everything, pretty much what you need. But I want to make sure if there's anything that's really major that you that you don't have. Uh, it's going to come to a point where we're going to have to worry about the oil uh, storage for the for yeah. servicing the vehicles and stuff. We're starting to okay. have space problems with that. Uh, the parts room, etc. We need definitely to do something with that. Uh, just general storage and you know dry space for different things. We're starting to truck lift. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest thing is the wash bay. Yeah, the wash bay is uh, the DUP is going to. An issue down. with that, and I mean, uh, he, here's one for instance. So, like, uh, we went to these garages and we looked at all those big bridge cranes, or whatever. Everything is tagged and rated, and you know what you can and cannot do. So, I just started to go through an inspection with our chain fault lift in the garage. Okay, the the whole, the chain walls themselves say they're rated for X amount of weight, but the beam they are connected to is not rated so now we're looking at a structural engineer coming in to look at that beam and tell us that because in 1971 you right, just put yeah, a beam in right. it would hold the tram that it is flip. or is not capable of doing this work so so just the the moderate being modern i guess and complying with all the codes and regulations that are constantly changing are becoming a problem for us. Okay. The, all that, all that little stuff I didn't think really it was adds. Yeah. It's going to have to be addressed. It, it, and, and yes. you, need, you need a you need a PE stamp, a PE to stamp all those. That's so much stamp the, the beams, but to stamp the design, and then you're going to put the beam capacity on every beam. Right. Correct. Right. Yeah. So I'm in the process of trying to, you know, with the company to get a structural engineer down that we are in compliance with the current. Uh, beam and lifting so like I said just all these little things that uh, you know are starting to you know come out uh, with us the, the you know the, okay. the, the fuel island another major problem that we got to decide what we're doing with it's starting to 
you know, meet its life expectancy. We have constant problems with it. You know, so either we're building a new fuel island some way or somehow, or we're ripping this one out and we're going without it. Just things are really coming to an end of its life down there okay. in certain areas. I mean, uh, a few weeks back, Tom and Mike came down for a, a somewhat of an inspection of the building, and it, there is some things that should be addressed down there. Mm -hmm. And the new insurance people that we're dealing with so, so, started poking around. So kind of... That's, that's not an insubstantial thing. You know, no, well, and, you know, they're, they're really good about it. You know, they understand you don't have, a, you know, you, they don't expect you to come in and bring it right up to code. Mm -hmm. But you've got to start working your way towards it. And if you don't, then they're going to start saying, you know, you're going to start getting spined and you're going to end up either not doing work there or something there. You're going to be sending it out. Yeah, or the premiums but, go way up or right. they don't pay you know, claims. The same with like, washing the trucks outside. Sooner or later the DEP's coming down and you're not going to be able to wash trucks. So now where are you going to go? You're so gonna, so yeah. I guess really at the end of the day, if the town of Hadley decides that they don't like this project and they don't su support it, we're going to have to come up with plan B to have someone look at the garage and say this is what we need to do to make what we have compliant. compliant. Yeah. Yeah. So we're looking at an expense of something one way or another. That, sure. that is going to be great when we go for the whole ball of wax because unfortunately I have experience in exactly what you got stuck with for similar things and I had to do not as not to the extent that you did um, but there were issues that we are, where I have worked in a path that had some of those things, and it cost. It's a lot more to adapt. A lot of money to get that stuff. And that's great that it is to build the. Okay, that. that's that's great information. Good. Um, other things I mentioned there: there's no place or room for private or proper personnel discussions. No place for the public to visit or to voice issues and per. No con proper place or space for the public to visit like the DPW people, um, you and the secretary, to voice issues in person. They come into your office trail and it's like, you don't really have any any meeting area. You right. just sit down and talk and with it's, everybody. It's there. also not handicapped. Accessible. There's no hand, that's, that's handicapped clean, issues. What? Clean bathrooms. Yeah. It's, it, it is not accessible. ADA. Yeah. Um, okay. Would you say clean bathroom? Can, no. What did you say? The, the bathrooms are not accessible. Oh, well, okay, the handicap, right, yeah. That, that's all over the place. Offices. And yeah. They're probably not clean. Yeah, even the office line is right handicapped. So, Jim, are you, okay, are you guys okay with, in my experience, pictures are critical in this. Yes. If yes. we can incorporate some I want to get, I want to get the bigger. These are just some talking points. That, like yep. I've got four slides. Three, Only three have words on them. Yep. I don't want to make this, I don't want to make this a, a lecture. Fall asleep. Just a few points and I want to have pictures even I, mean, I was hoping Alex was here but I was hoping between now and town meeting uh, I know you want to get this PowerPoint in the next day or oh two. yeah we've got, oh no no not next day or two no no, no early next okay. week um, Jim can I just I, ha I have to go to finance committee yes. but I'm going to drive home to get on board so I yes. have to leave because I have yes. a long commute what I, what I want to just say here is if I do think I sent you guys the schematics of what that's, people want to know what that is, I would have a PowerPoint with bullets on what that schematic design is. I think that has to be. Oh, explain that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would agree that yeah. you know, it, it's, these are good talking points, but I wouldn't put the slide, a slide with the words up on the screen. It would be maybe, maybe four slides with different pictures, overview. And a few of the shots that are in our brochure that show the conditions. To talk about, you know, this is this show demonstrates that, you know, impact. This is what they have to work with for privacy. This is the, you know, uh, uh, the part storage. Those types of things that we've got in the brochure. Bringing up the points that you're doing, but I, I certainly wouldn't put something up that. You know, oh no, and, and that's what I want to have. That's where I want to. That's exactly where I brought these today mm -hmm. to discuss. This is the points highlight highlighted points and what kind of pictures do we want to add and using those pictures I can do a lot of the talking that's on the slides and not put the words up I, I did speak to Alex after our last meeting about 
getting his stills for you for a PowerPoint presentation. He said that's no problem. He can have that for us relatively yeah. easy. I like to really, I really like to get a, I'm just, you, you, okay. Uh, you know, Maya, I'm no, sorry. No, you can go. You have Thank a, you. a logistic question for town meeting or anything you need beforehand or Kirk needs, you need to get permission from yeah. Kirk for anything. I got a 45 Okay, drive. thank you. you can call me. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, have a good night. Yeah, so I was hoping to like just to get get what kind of pictures we want to put up. Like I think a great picture was when Alec had a video, has a video of the back truck backing in. Yeah. I mean that thing is, you know, this much room. Yeah. And it is a, I don't want to put a video up, but just showing the back truck going through the doorway, how little room there is. And it's not a unique truck. Yeah. I, I will imagine your ten new ten wheeler is will the ten wheeler fit in the garage? It goes in, but we don't. When, when it's ready for winter time, you leave that wing plow on. When we first got the truck and brought it in, it was basically shoehorned in there. I I don't. I think. I hate to say it. After we're done plowing, or you have a snow event and people are fatigued, that might be staying outside because it's that mm -hmm. tight. tight getting it in there yeah. and. Here's like so the guys this afternoon another thing I started cleaning up you know getting ready for the uh, open house in the back truck. It, I, I I thought about cleaning it but I think I think we're gonna leave it. You can clearly see because it's you know into that pole barn three quarters of the way. You can see the tarnish on the part that's left out in the weather that already the tanks and everything. You can tell you can tell the the drip line. This is in and that's out. Of what it's doing, yeah. and it's I mean, it's your, a year. Your tires, your rubber hoses yeah. on it, all that stuff. The sun, oh yeah, is your oh, worst the, oh, the weathering of oh, it. Just great, great example of rubber tires. Go down Memorial Drive, the one that goes from South Hadley into uh, Chicopee, and right in front of the Big Y, there's a uh, house that has an old farm all tractor been sitting out there for yeah. a number of years. And the rubber tires have literally melted off of the rim from the sun. They're just sitting there and they're just drooping because of the sun hitting yeah. the, UV, the UV rays hitting rubber. Yeah. I think that uh, oh, when you refer to the Vector truck, it was 500 and how much again? We paid 500, but. That was used. No, no, it was a demo, so we got a little cheaper. I think like. Today it's up over six hundred thousand already. Yeah. If we bought the same the truck, company, right? and, yeah, and somehow mentioned this is you know five hundred thousand dollar Vector truck that replacement cost is now over six hundred thousand. Right. Every when you refer to that Vector truck in the, uh, in the yeah. presentation, yeah, I mean, just to remind people that it was a contentious vote, mm -hmm. uh, and and that item in, in particular, um, yeah. and that you know now we bought it and now we're leaving it parked out in the yard. It's it's. You know, yeah, if you if you bought a three hundred thousand dollar Ferrari, would you park it outside? That's exactly well, what. But but all of these folks are, are faced with you've got the three hundred thousand dollar Ferrari and the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar Maserati. You know, Maserati. <laughs> they have they they they're not they're not leaving the Maserati out in the in the driveway for three hundred dollars worth of junk in it. They're trying to figure and out what I, they can do. Yes. You know, that, so so right. another thing with that too that. That I, you know, I talked, spoke to Gary about this, like the Vector truck. Okay, we're starting to come into, you know, colder weather, so that vehicle is going to be have to be winter start being winterized again. Uh, so, like in a perfect world, we would have that truck in some kind of climate controlled, above freezing, whatever, be ready to go. So when that vehicle is winterized, uh, let's say heaven forbid somebody had a sewer backup, and we need that truck. It's half hours. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting for a guy to respond, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes to come here. Then we got to put all the drain plugs back in that thing, get it filled up with water and respond. You're you're going to be waiting some time. And mm -hmm. when sew sewage backups happen, mm -hmm. the guy next door doesn't stop flushing or the <laughs> pump station or whatever. It, the, the tide is still rising in, in somebody's heaven forbid basement because that's usually where it goes. And not being equipped this way really slows. And slows the other end of that is once you use it for something like that, you have to park it inside so it doesn't freeze right. until you can clean it. And so if we went out with it, it either again. were we winterizing that night or cleaning out the garage to get in yeah. the shop. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, every, that's just stuff that people are going to need to understand when when it's time for the big money. I believe we're the choir, Mr. Minister. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I just, yeah, in, I just, yeah, you know, I, I hear what, we I, all hear I, what I you're really saying. I really appreciate the people of Hadley voting for us to buy all this nice equipment. It, but I, on the other side, I feel that I'm not doing my part to protect it because we, we, we can't. Well, you just can only do so much, Scott. I can only do yeah. so much, but right. it, it's a half a million dollar truck that, I guess, quote unquote, I'm responsible for. It's just, it, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. yeah. At the same yeah. time, this meeting is about convincing people that we're going to invest $225,000, uh, right. no, substantial but, but, amount of money, into taking it to the next step. Right. This is not commit us to, I mean, it's an investment in yeah. the, the uh, this whole thing, but it's not a commitment to this number that we don't know yet. But but it, but it definitely is points to bring out to the public and start early that, you know, these are all these are some these are the reasons why we we need this because we're trying to protect. Yeah. We've got some equipment, yeah, we've got some fancy equipment, no question about it. But if we, but for example, we don't have a back truck, we've got to call somebody. Well. This guy not available. The, first, the, the nearest guy available is going to be in Springfield. It's going to take him, what, how long to get here? How is the response going to be? We have our own back truck. When it's ready to go, we can be at the site in a matter of, you know, a half an hour or an hour once we get the people available to get there. And we can respond faster and better than calling contractors. And so a lot of this has to do with making sure the townspeople are taken care of. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, we we have got some good equipment. We've got some good response. We've got some good people to operate them, but we need to make sure that they can operate it, not just twenty four seven, but twenty four seven fifty two. Yeah. So, if you have a summer backup in the summer, yeah, you'll you'll be taken for pretty good. You have a you have a backup in. Uh, January 20th, well, you may have a bit of a wait. So, um, so if, if you've got what you need for your slides. I, now that I've got, you know, I agree. So I figure I'll we'll have some slides. We'll have a picture of the back truck backing into the door. Maybe take a picture of the, I don't know, the man, maybe not, well, I could do a two in one. Picture of the back truck backing into the door and the two-tone color, because it's been sitting outside so much, exposed to the elements. Some pictures of the garage, especially if we can get one with all this, with all the equipment in there. We have one, Alex. Has that would be there, great. But that's without the plows. The plows without change the plow, whole yeah. thing. <laughs> that's that would make, make that note. You know, these are these these are without the plows because when you put the plows on, this equipment doesn't all fit. No. All right, um, and make some of those notes. Um, Put some put explain with a slide in writing what the PowerPoint put not the what the schematic will give us. Um, explain probably the next possible steps. Um, what else kind of what kind of pictures do we want to have besides the, the inside of the garage, the back truck? What would be good? I don't want to bury them in my own the exterior with the the mouse house is the mountain, the trailers. Yeah, the trailers. Yeah. I mean, he has he oh, has photos yeah. of the trailers. I mean, That's a, I, obviously, office, a, I mean, office trailers in front of the building. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we gave the trailers inside a little facelift, but still, the guts of it are. They were. They the tie touched, was now so. warping because the carpet actually has glued down, so it made a vapor barrier and started peeling the plywood from the moisture. And <laughs> I also think the uh, the the shot of the. Uh, where the, the break area and the locker room. Yeah, the locker room's outside, you know, yeah. in front of the back old bucket. Yeah. <laughs> You're standing in the mud. Okay. And maybe when we take like some of those pictures, I'm not sure it'd be appropriate. But let me correct me if I, you don't think it's a good idea. What some of the Building look like on the inside with the equipment, and what some of the, the bot the new building we toured, and a locker room of some of the new equipment because right. the locker room of one of the places. 
I, I would I would save that stuff for the little for later on. Yeah, 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 I, I wouldn't. I would, you know. I, we're, we're talking about the situation that we have here, not looking at. Okay, good point. Yeah. Okay, so that's. I don't want to bury him in too much stuff. I think that'll give right. us like four or five pictures, and explaining as we're going, through, explaining as as we go through the stuff, that should pretty much give them the idea of what we're trying to get accomplished here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, before I forget. Uh, there was a meeting, as a finance committee meeting, that uh, Carolyn dashed off for that I'll be attending. Is at six, so it is a Zoom meeting. So if anybody wants to attend, it is open. And this, the two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, will be up for vote. I mean, it it came to the finance committee at three million, and it was uh, that's where the number changed uh, from Mr. Richard's discussion with the finance committee. So anyway, that's where we're at and that meeting is at 6 o'clock, so if people want to uh, tune in and chime in, uh, I've sent out the information um, uh, just a little bit of what we've had here for the preamble. So. I believe the select board will vote to put this on the warrant if they haven't done so already. I was at the last meeting, I started watching it, and there was this, I got to the point where they were talking about it, and they did vote to take the $3 million article off, and whether the this one, I'm, I'm sure the select board will vote to put this on, so whether we have uh, recommendations from the finance committee or not, it'll still be there. I would hope we get recommendation from the finance committee. That should happen to yeah. I would expect that. I think, it, I think it will. I know, I know, it, it, is Paul on the finance committee or just on the capital planning? He's on both. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, he's deeply concerned, and rightfully so. So, okay. Okay. Um, next meeting is a week from tonight. It'll be, uh, it'll be, and the idea of that was after the open house and before the um, town meeting, special town meeting, just so we could iron out any last change because the special town meeting, I believe, is on the 26th. Yes. And so the next meeting will be on the 18th, just about a few, I mean, a week before that one. So between now and Saturday at 10, I'll, you and I will head down to the dump and work on a little bit of the schedule. Sure. Uh, I'd like to cover an hour. Yeah, I think if we could get, you know, if we could take shifts, yeah. then that would be helpful. Room for one more? Yeah. When you were talking about signs, Scott, you mean the kind you stick up, like vote today? Kind yeah, of I, I... Those are effective. Yeah, Lauren said that she's approved the proofs that does need to be printed. She did get a couple lawn signs that we can put at the town hall or whatever where it's going to get good traffic. It would be nice to have that you know. Saturday at the dump, too. So. Okay. You know, yeah. Mitch said that, that they would put up one of the letter signs. Where would you think would be the best place to put that? Center of town? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Like Russell School of Lawn or something like that? Is, is this the uh, sandwich board or the, or the, um, it's the, it's police, the LED. police LED? Police yeah. LED. Maybe right on a town meet, on a town hall lawn? Town, town Hall around Russell School Year, whichever one. Okay, wait, wait, there's no more fence on Russell School Year. Right, right, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that'd be a good place out of the way. Don't forget to include the address just in case people don't know where the DPW is. Yeah. I could put a sandwich board up somewhere too. To. I would put one on this side of the uh, in case people are going one way and don't see the other. Or All right. Uh, I could put, I'll put it where I put the uh, vote today sign from the church. Okay. Uh, Unless you think we should spread them out. Usually works pretty good. North and south and east and west. It's yeah. Especially with the construction on nine, that's where everybody's going. They're going through that 
one yeah. way or the other. Put them on Rocky Hill Road, they'll get a lot of atten attention. Yeah, Route 9B. Yeah. <laughs> More railroads so they can read it going by fast. Route 9C. I have nothing else. Anybody have anything? Well, motion, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All, all in favor? Aye. Aye.